up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Farron Frost if you are new hey boo what it do and if you are returning then thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any time your girl posts so in today's video we are going to be doing this Valentine's Day look I did a easy and simple smoky eye for you guys I know smoky eyes could be a little scary but I decided to try to make it as easy as possible I hope I did but um, if you want to see how we got the look then please keep watching so I'm going to pin my hair back a little bit okay so we're going to do us a quick and easy smoky eye trust me um valentine's day is coming up and i think you guys will really really enjoy this look so first things first i already washed my face i'm gonna go in with the mario Badusco um facial spray aloe cucumber and green tea toner i love this toner And I just spray it all over my face. My face has been a little dry because, you know, it is the cold weather that's bringing the dryness. But it's okay because I'm going to hydrate it with the Arts Natural Vitamin C. Well, actually, I'm going to go in with the Hyaluronic Acid by Arts Lux. I like this product. It comes like this. I'm just gonna put that all over my face and just you always want to prep your skin before you apply your makeup even if you don't wear a lot of makeup you always want to prep the skin and you want to press that product into the skin as well sorry guys if you guys hear my dog then i apologize he's always banging on somebody okay <laughs> and then we're gonna go on with the vitamins um the vitamin c serum it helps to uh brighten your face which i love and it's by arts natural as well it's kind of like a looks like a yellow a little bit going to put that all over my face do any of you guys have anything cool planned for Valentine's Day I still don't know what I'm doing yet but you know doesn't hurt to start thinking about it a little early oh that felt wonderful you guys Seriously. I was gonna put on some Vaseline, but when you have a daughter, she's like, if you have a daughter, so you'll you know what I mean. They take everything. So I think she took it, but you know, just to prep, I would put Vaseline, but it's not in my on my vanity. But anyways, um, let's get started since we have prepped our face. Let's get started with our eyebrows. I like to start with my eyebrows first. I like to work up then down. I like to start with my brows, which I brush up. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in just a little bit. So first things first, I want to start off with the Milani eyeshadow primer. I have never used this before, um, but I want to start using primers. So um, this is how it looks right here. But I'll have everything linked down below. 
So, okay, so now I'm gonna go on with my Fenty powder in cashew pro filter powder and I'm just gonna set my our primer locked in we're gonna go in with the revolution uh, makeup gel eyeliner so when you're trying to achieve a black smoky eye like that intense black smoky eye then you need like a paint, a paint pot like this first what I like to do I'm going to take a flat smudger brush, I mean shader brush, and I'm going to dip into the product. And what I'm going to do, you, this part you guys, you have to work kind of fast. So I'm going to show you right now. So you know the, the when your eye opens and it's like you see the, the crease, the fold part, that's where you want to put the black gel liner at. And it's gonna look messy, so don't trip. Chocolate chip, don't trip at all. You want it to look messy. You don't want your edges to be perfect. And you'll see why. Uh. So you want it to look like this. And then you're gonna take a small blending brush right here. You're just gonna move that color around and you're gonna blend those edges. Because like I said, we don't want it to be perfect. We want it to be seamless. Yes, it's going to look crazy. Jump trick. <laughs> Just start moving it around very, very fast. And you're done. There's your smoky eye. I'm just kidding. Okay, wait. Okay, so after that, you're gonna go in with a, a black. This is by Mac. This is Carbon, is in um, black. And then you're going to, and you're gonna pat that carbon color into your eye. It's all gonna come together, trust me. This is a intense smoky eye for date night going out with the girls to dinner we're gonna lock that in and if you have any holes by your lash line we're gonna put some liquid eyeliner to cover that up so so now we're gonna take our blending brush and I'm just gonna go in with that brown shade that I used for the, the excess off and I'm going to blend on top of that black just so it could be softer you see how it just kind of and that's this is the easiest way on how to do a smoky eye You just want to make sure everything is nice and blended and that's all you really have to worry about. I'm going to put 
a little bit more of the, the carbon. We're just gonna use a shader brush. I'm gonna go back in with the, the matte carbon just to get that smoky eye, more of a intense smoky eye. This is for date night and you know, when you're all up in Bae's face and he's like, dang, you look so fire tonight. <laughs> Thank you, baby. And you want to pat because you don't want, I mean, even though you didn't do your face yet, you still just want to pat because you don't want all the, the black to, to come down, to all the fallout to come down. But if it does, you just get a makeup wipe and just wipe it off. It's not that serious. I'm going to go back in and just ever so lightly just blend it out one last time. Okay, so now I'm going to do my other eye off camera and I'll be back so we can put on our lashes. Okay, you guys, so now we're going to put on our lashes. Yes, I still look crazy. This is this is the process of a smoky eye. You're gonna look crazy until the whole look is finished. <laughs> like I look crazy, y'all. But um, so I'm going to be applying my lashes. When you're wearing a smoky eye, I would suggest wearing some like cute, sexy lashes. Nothing that's gonna cover your eye, but like I like a little heavy lash, but that complements your eye. So. I'm gonna go in with the, the Duo Dark Tone Glue, eyelash glue. I'm using some lashes I got from the, the Beauty Supply um, that I've been, and I, and I reuse my lashes, you guys, until I can't no more, okay? Because I just feel like they look better every time you uh, reuse them. They start looking more natural there, so. Put the glue on the lash, you want it to get tacky just so it could be easier to apply to your lash line. I like to wave it, or you could blow on it. It's going on your eye, so it's not a big deal if you blow on it. These are your germs. I like it to get really, really tacky, you guys, because I hate when it's not tacky enough and then it's just like slipping on your eye and then everything is just ruining your your eye makeup and then you're irritated and then you gotta just breathe <laughs> then you gotta breathe and just like okay let's figure this out so okay let me get my mirror i need to buy me a little small mirror Oh, first things first, y'all. Almost forgot. I need to apply some mascara first. I like to apply mascara before I put on my lash. So um, this is by the Essence, another Valium mascara. Okay, you guys so I have my lashes on so we're gonna let those dry and then now we're gonna move on to I'm not really a foundation girl I like tinted moisturizers and um, so I'm trying the pretty fresh color pop um, tinted moisturizer in dark 18w I'll put everything um, down below so you can um, you know check it out if you want to but um let's try it out I usually put it all over my face a little bit and usually guys I don't even wear tinted moisturizer but I'm trying to just try different products I usually just use concealer and that's pretty much it <laughs> so this foundation brush and I'm going to just start blending that in Over and I go under my eye too. And 
And if you have beauty marks like me, and um, I like my beauty marks to, sh you know, push through and thrive. I don't, I like, or still is looking like my skin. <laughs> I don't like it to look too makeup -y. I don't like that look. And if you do, do you. Don't listen to me. Do you, if that's something you like, how you like your makeup. It's all about how you like to look. Go so in with the, the lip bar concealer, which I need to get some more of. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Pretty Face Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in medium dark. This one right here. And this one is a thicker consistency, which I like. And I'm going with that same brush and just blend it out. I'm gonna take it down a little bit. Middle of my forehead. Okay, so now we're gonna lock it in with that 50 powder. The under eyes. Everything I just do lightly, because like I said, I don't want it to look makeup-y. I'm scared of that look. Cakey. Okay, you guys, so it's coming together. So now I'm just going to contour a little this bit. This is in deep mocha. I'm not really like a serious contour like that. I just. I just make sure it's no harsh lines. Because, like we said, we don't want to look like we have makeup. We just want to look like we woke up like this. We did, right? We woke up like this. What are you talking about? We woke up like this. What are you talking about? This is beautiful. <laughs> Our hairline. I'm just gonna go back in with that powder because I see that my eyebrow kind of lost a little bit of a little bit of definition. There we go. 
like a lot of people don't like their brows like flared up like that. I do. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the Milani um, Stay Put Eyeliner in After Dark, right here. I'll be right back, because I can't do it in the... <laughs> and just remember, if you're going to be out drinking or whatever, getting lit, just, just abort mission with a smoky eye, period. I'm just telling you, because... Trust me, I've done it and you will look crazy after. So, abort mission. Just abort mission, y'all. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn y'all because y'all will look crazy. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my mascara. I'm gonna do some bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna just put a little coat at the very, very top. You know what, you guys? I think I want to put some black. So I'm going to go in and take that Carbon Color by MAC. I'm just going to take my angle brush. And I'm just going to fill in those holes. Because I just feel like there's a little mini gap. I don't know if you guys can... I think that looks a little better. Start pulling this out. I'm gonna switch it like that. just a little bit you know you guys how to pronounce this brand leave me a comment down below this is in I think it's called Sai Sai if I'm pronouncing that wrong like let me know how to pronounce it but this is in Chile this is a lick uh, a cream blush so I'm just going to put some dots Maybe I should keep it pinned back for now. So I put a couple of dots on there and then now I'm going to smile. <laughs> I've been loving cream blush way more lately. And then you want to be careful with your cream blush because it will if you put too much at first, you'll look crazy. I'll put a little bit of highlight. This is an old, old highlight by Makeup Shayla. Love her and Posey. Just gonna put a little bit. This is a loose powder highlighter right there.
Okay, so now we can start taking out our Okay, so now I'm going to go in with, okay guys, so since we did a lot and made our eyes very pop and um, very beautiful, so now I'm just gonna keep the lip a little simple because I just don't wanna compete on the top and bottom, even though there's nothing wrong with it because sometimes I'll do a red lip with, you know, but right now we're just gonna do something simple and I think that'll be really pretty and just, Settled. So I'm gonna go in with this brown. I forgot where I got this brown lip liner from, but it's a brown lip liner, and I'm just going to start lining my lips. And what I like to do, I like to kind of line my lips up the. Then kind of blend it up. Oh. And then I kind of blend it down. I like my bottom lip to look just really defined. And then I'm just literally gonna take a clear lip gloss by Danessa Merrick. I, I believe that's how you um, pronounce her her name let me know if I pronounced it wrong y'all <laughs> but um, I love this packaging It's super pretty super cute like a little diamond at the top I'm a sucker for it doesn't even have to be the, a great product which her products are really good but it doesn't even have to have a great uh, be a great product if it's cute packaging I want to get it <laughs> so Okay, you guys, and this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share so you won't miss out on any time your girl posts. I think Bay is gonna love this look right here. It's not doing too much. I have on this red and black top right now. And I think it's super cute, y'all. I think it came out really cute. Make sure you have your hair looking cute. It's time for date night. It's time for Valentine's Day. I can't wait to Valentine's Day because I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But I know I'm doing something though for sure. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this look. I love it. And let me know what you guys want to see. So I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.